Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for OnePlus 5T and this time we have Lineage OS based on Android 15 and I have been using this ROM few days now and it is kind of working well here and this is an official version of Lineage OS for this device. So as you can see here, Android 15 and the Lineage OS version is 22.2 and the security patch level is 1st July 2025. Surprisingly, the OTA update is working so you no need to flash the new build directly from recovery you can directly update your device from update section and i did try that actually it is working so in the system setting we can find our system update option as you can see here i did update my device to 22.2 .2 yesterday actually because it was having some issue with charging related and after installing 2.2 .2, the charging related issue fixed it's still fast charging not working but it charges up to 1.4 amp that's good and in terms of Setting UI, it is pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM. Lineage OS does not really come with that much of customization. It is pretty stockish ROM. So the control panel as you can see here, pretty much similar. Nothing new here. In terms of network connectivity, everything seems to be working fine. No issue at all. But Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi not working. I don't really know what's going on with Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi. Although we do get options as you can see here. Bo LT and... Bo Wi-Fi option is also available and I have already turned it on but still both of them not working. Other things are working perfectly fine, no issue. In the connected device section we do get NFC and NFC is also working here as you can see. NFC is working and also quick share and other stuffs are working well, no issue at all. In the apps option we do get default apps, cloud media app, unused application, no clone apps or app lock option here. In the notification option, we get all the typical options here. In the sound and vibration, sound and vibration working well, no issue at all. And there are a few other options, but no part of volume control. Modes option is available. In the display section, we do get few things here, as you can see here, double tap to work, double tap to sleep. And in the lock screen option, we do get few options here, as you can see here. And if you want AOD, you can turn it on and AOD is working perfectly fine, as you can see here, no issue. But unfortunately on AOD, double tap to work not working as you can see here. Kind of weird. There is nothing new here. All the stuffs are pretty much similar to all other ROMs. In the wallpaper and style section, we do get few options here like change wallpaper. We don't really get any kind of AI wallpaper or emoji workshop. But we do get few wallpapers here. And the default one are here. And few other options are available. In the mode log screen option, obviously the same thing here. And in terms of storage, by default it takes around 12 to 15 GB. So that's kind of typical for Android 15 based ROM. In terms of battery, the battery is excellent. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. But there is charging issue, like fast charging is not working. And I have found a weird issue with this ROM is that sometimes the charger get disconnect and reconnect so kind of weird when i charge the device when it's turned off it charges fine no issue at all in the system setting we do get few options here like for customization and stuffs so in the button section we get typical options here as you can see and additional buttons option we can customize silent switch up to our liking like top position middle position and bottom position so those things are available and in the status bar option, we get few customization options on this ROM like quick pull down, network traffic monitor, system icons, and also clock position. You can change it. And these are the things we are getting, nothing much actually. The only customization we are getting here are this, nothing much. In terms of security and privacy, both face and fingerprint unlock are viable and working well. So if I show you, as you can see here, face unlock is also working. And we do get private space and in the mode security and privacy option we get few other options like extended unlock, theft protection, sim lock and all those things. And that's all actually location is working and we don't really get much here. In terms of application this ROM did not come with GF so you have to flash GF separately. And by default we are getting GCAM Go which is working fine as you can see here it is working. No issue at all. But I did install a GCAM here as you can see here. 
it get freezes actually so as you can see here not working but it does work and it get freezes i don't really know it is issue with the gcam application i'm using here or it got some rom issue as you can see here the gcam is not working but i did try this gcam on other roms too and it did work on those roms perfectly fine no issue and in terms of other application like google photos unlimited storage is available so if i show you that as you can see here unlimited photos storage available but magic editor is not working if i try now circle and as you can see here it closed and in terms of google play protect certification that is also not available so bank apps not going to work and in terms of google play product certification that is also not available so as you can see here device is not certified so bank apps not going to work here as we are not getting google play product certification chat gpt is also not working but chat gpt was working on under 12 based rom without google play product certification i don't really know what's going on with this thing and whatsapp is working but when you try to log in you can see this alert but it does work perfectly fine, no issue at all. And in terms of calling, as I said, Bo LTA and Bo Wi-Fi not working here. And also we are not getting any kind of call recording. So quite unfortunate actually. And other feature likes, we do get audio FX feature here, but no circle to search. So if I try circle to search, as you can see here, circle to search is not available on this ROM. Quite strange. And in terms of gaming, the ROM is doing pretty well. It is much better than the stock ROM. I did try Call of Duty here and it is working pretty well. So in terms of gaming also, you can go with this ROM. And other things like the UI is, as I said, pretty clean and smooth. The animations are pretty good. And also the RAM management is pretty good here. So if I open my games, as you can see here. So RAM management is good. And everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Obviously, we do get few issues with this ROM like First charging is not working and there is no safety net, no magic editor and also no circuit to search. So these are the few issues with this ROM and also sometimes you might find issue with charging. So as I said, sometimes the charger get disconnected which is pretty weird. And if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. And if you want to know how you can flush this ROM on your device, I did make a whole tutorial how we can flush a custom ROM on OnePlus 5T. So you can check out that video. So that's all about Lineage US for OnePlus 5T. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.